Hello, Stephen White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. I just watched season one, episode 15 of Prodigy, although it feels like season two. Um, they've released part one, or they're releasing part one on Blu ray. I don't know why they don't just consider it season one. It was a whole year ago, and this is season two, like a year later. Um, so, this episode, they are stuck in the um, neutral zone. They are looking for somewhere to repair the ship. O'Connor is helping them. Dal is jealous of O'Connor. Um, now eventually they go down on um, like a um, space elevator or whatever it is called in the episode. I've forgotten. God, they've used they've used the term so many times. We've only seen it a couple of times in episodes. Um, they go down. They meet a geneticist or someone that he had to bring um, um, supplies for that were late, that were lost. So just in that meeting, um, she points out that, well, she identifies what Dal is, and Dal is apparently a hybrid who was created by Eric Sung. So we have another Sung creation, another Sung connection, and it just makes the universe feel a lot smaller. Um, yeah, apparently he, he's just a whole mix. He's basic human DNA and then a bunch of other traits from other species. And she acted like they were the negative parts or something. It, it was fairly disparaging. He didn't feel very good. And she said, I can basically make you better um, with an implant or some sort of manipulation. And he said, no, if it sounds too good, it probably is. And then they're about to leave. And he said, how long will this take? So he did it anyway. And they're being hunted by Romulans who, of course, want the protostar. Janeway was speaking to Admiral, I think, Jericho. It looked like him. I think they were referring to him being in the episode. Uh, he said she could not go into the um, neutral zone if it appeared as though the Romulans were going after the protostar. She could destroy it, but she couldn't follow it. She couldn't go in. Um, so she's basically just watching these Romulans hunt down the kids on the planet. Um, O'Connor runs away first chance he gets when they're confronted by the Romulans and they want to see the captain. First they think it's him and then Dow outs himself and um, O'Connor runs away. And he start, um, Dow starts to mutate. All his DNA starts to come out. He activated all at once. So he's got um, Klingon DNA showing. He's got Rom um, Vonkert and Romulan ears. He's got you know Klingon forehead. He's got um, Andorian um, antenna and so forth. He starts to turn into slime like Murph. He's, he's just a mess, and he's not helping out a whole lot. They end up fighting these Romulans. They end up winning, um, because apparently Murph is now a superhero. Um, they let him out of his little ball, which is like one of those balls that you put an animal in, and it runs in, it goes around certain, and just roll, rolls around in it. He's basically in one of them. So he's like a baby now, which I, I'm finding kind of... Tiresome. I liked it when he was just this weird creature. I really liked the character. I feel like they've ruined him now. He's just this really generic looking little figure that's kind of like a baby, but with a Murph face. Um, so he has super hero fighting abilities and basically jumps between the, um, the elevators that they're riding on and fighting on, beats the hell out of the Romulans, and then... Um, I think that's it. They're, they're, they're actually, a couple of them get hit by lightning because um, just the, the area they're going through. And um, Murph ends up covering them because the glass of the um, elevators have been broken. He covers that to protect them. They go back up to the ship. Um, January was going to blow the ship up. She shot torpedoes and then she um, deactivated them last second when they discovered that the crew actually, you know, won. The Romulans didn't, didn't get on board, didn't capture them. Because the Romulans got on board the ship, but then they had to go after um, the crew because they couldn't do anything. So um, they bet the Romulans, they, the, the, the ship survived, and um, the episode ends off with the, um, um, the Trill, who's on Janeway's ship, getting frustrated with all this, and just walking in saying, you know, Dreadnought activate, and the table turns into the Dreadnought character, because she's in there with um, Gwen's father, and she's like, this is taking too long, 
you know, we need to, you know, do something else. And she taps the button on her back and the button on her neck, the back of her neck, and just like Dow, she transforms into um, another one of Gwen's species. And she's like, you know, you weren't the only one sent back in time to, you know, to come after the ship. And that's the end of the episode. So, yep. Yeah. I'm not hugely enjoying the show now. They've changed Murph, and it's all about, um, you know, being chased by, you know, Gwen's father, and um, even though he still doesn't know who he is, and Jane Way's now the bad guy chasing them, and um, there's no sort of standalone adventures, really. Um, and they made O'Connor look bad. I don't know. Um, yep. Yeah. I'm wondering where they're going with this show. Um, I feel like they're going in the wrong direction. But we'll see. We've got, um, what, five more episodes to go? I don't know. I'm going to go. Bye.